doing this, this like massage, very simple massage to help other people. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're, you yourself are very calm mm -hmm. and relaxed. Yeah. You know, place your hands onto their body, just to introduce yourself. So there's a so there's a connection there. And remember, we practice Jigong, we're always coming from our centre as well. You just make sure you're centred. So, I'm introducing myself. And as I'm doing this, I'm engaging, I can see the way his structure's moving. Yeah? Right, so I'm going to start up here. I'm massaging here. I'm not massaging with the fun. Yeah. So like, as I'm pushing, I can see that he's, he's not still hold, hold, holding on. Thoracic re region here, trapezius. Get his legs as well, man. Keep. So I'm Don't be afraid to come close to them. Make sure it was your center, didn't it? Yeah. Because okay, so now to really go into this. There's muscle underneath here that you want to push underneath so you separate the scapula. The scapula becomes more loose. Yeah. See the bone here? Some people can't do this because it's so tight. Yeah. But in order to do this, you need to really relax all the muscles around it. It's a triangle, isn't it? So my body is positioned. It's been very. Uh, that's why practice of qigong and such is very helpful. Is you become very sensitive to the way the person is reacting to your touch. But then you can also become very aware of their structure as well. This one a bit more. Okay. Very tight here. Come this side here, the pectoris. Here we go. Male, female doesn't matter. It's the same, yeah. There's muscle here is pulling the shoulder forward. Does it hurt? 
Tender. Tender, yeah. So you sort of gently, you can feel the fibers, you can feel it striated. And you, then you're going deeper. And all you're doing is you're, you're loosening up the fibers, the muscle fibers. Tender, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you don't realize how tender it is. Yeah, you don't realize. Remember, at all the time, you need to make sure your structure is good. Because here, right now, I'm, pr I'm practicing, there's, there's no difference. Mm. Yeah? So I do stuff like this. Because if I'm moving from my center, that means he will be moving from my center. Yeah? That feels different. Okay, first one is working though. When you do this, you will feel that you can see, you not only see the muscle, but if you use your middle eye, if you get connected, you can feel the muscle. You will know whether or not you're doing it right, you will know. To be very intuitive, it takes time. <coughs> muscle here as well. There's always like the bulk of the muscle, the, the belly of the muscle that you're trying to loosen up. Like muscle, we've got lim ligaments on either side of the muscles that we can help to stretch as well. So we do this when we prep, massage ourselves, we do very similar movements. When I do this by myself, I hold it here and I turn. Yeah, we do it with other people, we hold it. The hands we help stretch this way and also be stretched the op opposite way. But remember all the time I'm doing horse stance, yeah? So remember not to be too forceful, yeah? We're not trying to just break the person, we're just reminding them, just kind of like urging them to go back into themselves. Right. There's muscle, the muscles, this bit has a belly, it's a big round thing, you want to get into that. Up here is the ligament. Ligament here, muscle here. You massage the muscles. It helps stretch the ligament. Up here though. Muscle here, the belly's here, ligaments here as well, and here's ligament. <coughs> Muscle here, the belly is here, the round part, help to relax that. Tight. Up here is ligament here, ligament here to this muscle here. <coughs> Ligament always attached to the bone. Ligament attached to the bone mus to the muscle. So Mark's getting holding here. See that I'm holding onto this, these ligaments here. 
come on, my movement up. I don't say it's still it is. This is wrong. Mm -hmm. This is fake movement. Look at my body. Yeah? In the same little light, I could, if I wanted to, I could break someone's arm. Yeah. <laughs> you can feel it. You can feel it, you know. <laughs> yeah? So look, my whole body, look. So I don't take, I don't take no, 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 um, there's no energy involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So the whole stance is very important. That means I'm always, I'm always using my whole body to do it. I'm not doing this and going, here, what am I using? Just my shoulder. So if I come down here, what am I using? You can see, you see the difference. Right, so now we can really come into these here, it's more loose now. You can use oil if you want. Right. These ones get really tight. The reason why Joe's really tight here was he's tight down here. Yeah. I, I know that from in the beginning when, when, when I was pushing, when I was making contact to them. But you, you have that understanding, the more you have understanding of your own structure. Does that make sense? Because when he's moving, I can feel already that he's moving away from here. Because I'm coming from my centre. Yeah? I'm just encouraging the blood flow. Yeah. Then now, hands like this. And behind here. Like this. So I'm just going this. But make sure you do it from, you know, do it, don't do it from up here. It's going to... When you do this movement here, you're doing it from here. When I'm doing this movement here, I'm not doing it from up here, I'm doing it from here. Yeah? And then, uh, don't, look, don't be worried about it, look how close I get. Is that okay, Joe? Mm. And what I'm massaging here, this area here. Is that okay, Joe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello, I'm just following his. Mm -hmm. There's no force there. Yeah, then I can. Yeah. That feels comfortable, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Make sure to keep your structure. Okay, for the next one. So I'm hold, holding, holding him like this. And then... Good, now you're more scared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 
So this position here, what I did is I, I went to the last form in Chico. I held on to it. I remember holding from here. I don't hold on like this. I hold on from here. I mean, what I did was this. I'm lifting, I'm lifting up from the ground upwards. I'm not using my upper torso to pull. I'm not, I'm not doing this. My whole body is going like this. Yeah? How oh, that feels? Okay. Mm, yeah, every now and then it's doing a little. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll just help to adjust C1 to 3. But you only can really do that after the muscle's been relaxed, you know. If you try to do that when it's not relaxed, that would have really that would, would have been painful. Okay. Good job, would you like to put your hand place your hands behind your neck? Clasp them together. Yeah? So this one I'm to bring here. So now I'm, I'm asking to breathe in, and I will breathe in as well. Yeah. So as he breathed in, I breathed in as well, and then I did the nail again. You see what I did? Uh, he breathed in, I breathed in, and I'm, that's all I did. Yeah. It was more stable then. Okay, so now we're gonna encourage the body to natural, naturally uh, equilibrate. Making the muscles engage. Max Joe to push on top. Push, yeah, push, 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 push. Sit. Okay, so now Mark's him to push upwards. Yeah. Again, push. Good. Then push. Mm. So now here I'm just kind of just massaging his stomach. But just remember this is the dantian. Dantian is where the navel, in between the navel and where the the, uh, the pubic bone is. It's about here. This is the centre of your of your being. This area here. So I'm just massaging it. And I'm once again I'm pushing it, kind of getting it to hold on to its position. Yeah? Getting his glutes to engage. You're gonna be punching hard. If you're doing massage punch, uh, hold it like this. Because then now you've got a gauge of like how hard you're punching. Mm. Because you're holding onto yourself. Mm. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Even a mm. fight, don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 It's here now, I ain't gonna feel no I ain't gonna feel nothing. If I do like this, then yeah, I'm sure it's I'm reminded to not too too much. A little horse stance. I'm not using no muscle, I'm just from my centre, I'm just turning here, my hips turning. Yeah? Yeah, so what I can see is Joe's tight here. Yeah, but this here is, you, you can't really get massaged and get it loosened. Because you get massaged and get loosened, it'll make you more lazy. People don't realise this. The healing is going to come when you do it yourself and you will get relief this tension through breathing for allowing your breath to reach all the way down the reason why we get Ill, illness or any uh, illness is for stagnancy the, the, the prana does not always the, 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 we don't breathe all the way down so now this area here is just it becomes stagnant it's not moving this is not like a mm -hmm. it's not like a snake hole you know it's very stiff we can always help to alleviate like certain areas here but always the lumbar this area here you need to work on yourself mm -hmm. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Massage ain't gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. 
Massage is going to be like, if you're a king, you can pay for it every day, but the, work, the healing is going to come from yourself doing exercise. But the right exercise, be very aware and connected with your breath. So I'll just recap, um, make sure that when you're moving, you're always moving with your breath. If you, if you are moving without your breath, it's a fake and forced move. It's not real. Let's see one last one, yeah? Let's try that again. Much more relaxed here now, aren't it? Yeah. Okay, so we helped out today with uh, Joe's tension up here. Yeah? Thank you, all. Beautiful. Um...